morning everyone myself mundi the reddy in this video we are going to discussing about what is palm.xml what are the mandatory fields is available in palm.xml what is palm.xml palm is nothing but project object module okay inside the palm the main uses of palm is it contains project and configuration information okay inside that particular palm.xml we can declare all the dependencies plugins okay everything we can declare when you call that particular maven related build life cycles it will read that particular palm.xml based on that particular palm.xml it will be execute that particular build life cycles build life cycles are goals both are same okay we can discuss more on life cycles part later part and as i said like before maven 2 before maven 2 we uh, the file name is project.html later they rename it to palm.xml later they rename to palm.xml sorry earlier i said like build.xml right no it was project.xml file name and after maven 2 we rename to palm.xml okay got it right just see the simple example like what are the mandatory fields okay here if you observe here we have a project tab this is the project tab inside the project tab we will be declare all the related project information build tools and uh, uh, dependencies build sessions everything in distribution management everything will be dependencies management everything will be declared inside the palm.xml only here if you observe here module version this module version should be 4.0.0 it is mandatory default it should be 4.0.0 and next one is artifact really. sorry group id group id is nothing but company reverse name for example company name is tech oral with murli.com okay we will be give like com dot tech oral reverse name reverse name of the particular domain example tech oral with murli.com is com dot tech oral with murli okay then artifacted artifacted is nothing but project name artifacted is nothing but the particular project name example if you see here my iphone first project the project name is my iphone first project and version Version is what type of version that particular art, uh, project. Here we have two things. One is snapshot and release. We can declare example. I give just one. Okay, here we can declare like uh, snapshot and release. Okay, this is sample form.xml. These are the mandatory fields inside the form.xml. Again, I'm going to show you what are the mandatory fields. First one is project tag. Project tag is a root element of form.xml. Inside the form.xml, this is the root element. It means we will be declare inside the palm.xml this project tag. Inside the project tag, we have a module version. This module version is a sub-element of project. This particular project is there. The particular sub-element of project, this in this particular module version should be 4.0.0. And next one is, next one, group ID. Group ID is a sub-element of project and group ID is nothing but project group. Example, as I said, tech oral with Murli, we can write reverse order, com dot tech oral with Murli. Okay. Next one, artifacted. Artifacted is a sub element of project and artifacted is nothing but project name. Artifacted is nothing but project name. Okay. Next version, what type of version, whether you want to create a snapshot or release, this one also sub element of project. Okay. This particular version will be declared as a, the particular project version either snapshot or release will be declared okay got it right i hope understand right these are the mandatory elements very very important question in interview level what are the mandatory fields required in palm.xml one is project tag module version artifact id group id version these five are mandatory remaining all are optional based on use cases we will be added required based on required we will be add the dependencies distribution management okay dependency management we will be declared multiple things i hope understand right if you have any questions feel free to comment i will try to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching this video we will see you next video